are going to dive right into the iPad. Yes, I just hit myself in the face with it. Hey, what's up everybody? Thank you so much for coming back to my channel and by the title, I know you're here for some good notes hacks, which we will get into in a second. So for some background, I am a senior in college. I have been using my iPad for two years and I've used good notes from the jump. Now there are some hacks for good notes that I didn't even know about. And I've had the iPad for two years and some that I've implemented early on. So whether you're a beginner or you're more advanced, I hope you can find and take some pieces of information that are really helpful to you in your life and help you with your overall productivity. So I am going to switch the angle and we are going to dive right into um, good notes and the hacks that I have. And I really, really hope that they will help you out. All right, y'all. So in this video, we're going to have three levels. We're gonna have basic, intermediate, and advanced. So we're gonna have three sections. So we're gonna start off with basic. These are the basic tips that everybody should know in GoodNotes. When you're a beginner, these are some great tips to know. Then we will also dive into intermediate and advanced, but let's go into basic. So our first hack is turning it from a swipe to a continuous scroll. I didn't know that the uh, continuous scroll existed and it has worked so much better. So when you initially get good notes, you swipe each page, but if you go right here on the three dots and then you go to scroll direction, and then you push vertical. Now it's just a continuous scroll and it is so much better. This has helped me so much. All right, so for hack number two, I will be using the Apple Pencil and it is the eraser tool. So what's really cool is that you can select what you want to erase. So let's say you only want to erase the highlighter on this, right? And you don't want to erase the text. Look at this, y'all. So easy, your text is still intact and you can try to erase anything and it will not erase. So GoodNotes will also let you know and able to fix it. So we can just turn that back off. All right, so next we have the shape tool, which is right here and you can draw any shape and you can see that the color inside is filled. You can definitely change this. So if you choose a different color, the color will be different. But let's say you don't want this inside space. You just push back and only the outline will be there. Or if you want it simpler, you can just turn off the fill color, which this is the setting I usually have it on. And you can just draw a circle and there's no fill color. All right, so next we're going to be talking about split view, which is right here. So you can push this and push open in a new window. And then you have your marketing here and then you have another notebook over here. So you can have two open at the same time and write on them. The next hack we're going to look at is typing. So you can type anything anywhere. And then you can change the size of it. You can change the font to whatever you want. And you can make it pretty to your liking and have like a cute heading or whatever you want. So that is the way to do it in GoodNotes. However, you can also use the app Fonto and Magic Eraser. So I'm going to show you how to do that real quick. A plain image, let's create it white. Yes, use add text, anything. Then you can go to font and select a font that you like. So let's say this one. Done. You can move it here and then we can change the style to black or whatever color you like. And then we can X PNG. Okay. And then we can go into magic. You select the image crop it down some push on the white go ahead and be it as a png and then we can go back into our good notes and select this select this and then you have it as a png and it doesn't have a background so you could do it behind anything you could do it here together with this circle have it be funky and different and then go ahead and just add your own 
little personal touches to create your own heading. All right, you guys, so we are going to be learning about the intermediate steps now. So the first step is that GoodNotes can detect our handwriting and turn it into real text. So let me show you. All right, so we have our sentence written out and what you do is you select it using the lasso tool and then push convert. And then you can see the quick brown fox jumped over the lazy dog. Now, sometimes there are inaccuracies, but you can just go in and edit it right here. And then you can push this button and export it or go ahead and just, you know, copy it and then paste it wherever you need it to. All right, so the next feature is handy for some people. I haven't used it too much, but I have found use in it and used it at times. So what you can do is you can push here and then you're given this outlines tab. So you can go ahead and create an outline. Let's say I want this to be part of my outline. So I go here and then I select add this page to outline. And then let's say lazy sentence. And so then we can continuously scroll and this is a worksheet. So we can add this to the outline and say worksheet. And then when you go here, you can see your thumbnails, your faves, and then your outlines. So I can go and say, hmm, the lazy sentence. Go here and it takes me directly to the page. The next hack is that you can download GoodNotes on your iPad and on your iPhone. That way you can always have your notes at hand when you need them and your iPad dies just like mine is about to. All right, so now we are in the advanced category. These are tips that you might have not heard of yet and that can greatly help you. I know that when I learned these hacks, they really changed my GoodNotes game, so hopefully they can do the same for you. Let's get started. So this next hack really changed the game for me. So when you usually use your eraser, you know, you can erase a word and then you're still on the eraser tool. So if you again erase a word, you'll have to click here and then continue writing. Let's say you don't want to do this. You don't have time for this. I do not have time for this. So what you do is you go on the eraser tool and you push auto deselect. So how this works is that you can do one stroke however long you want and then you can let go and it'll automatically switch you back to the pen tool. This way you can continue writing fast. And let's say, oops, I was writing, I made a quick mess up. I go ahead, erase it and then continue writing. It is literally so beneficial. I highly recommend that you turn auto deselect on. It saves you a lot of time. My next hack is super, super simple, but it really has helped me. So whenever you are writing like this, you know, you see this much of the page. I always use this little function to write all of my notes. So you can be writing. So let's say you're right here and you're writing and writing and writing and you can't see that this is the bottom of the page. And then, oops, you're at the bottom. So what you can do is you can just pinch right here and that way you can see the entire page and you can still type really close. Well, right, really close. But your page is far away so you can see the formatting. I think this really helps if you wanna do like really pretty notes cause that way you can kind of see where you should put stuff and everything like that. Or you can, you know, just do it like medium size or however big. This has really helped me in class because I honestly only need this box to write. And then here I can see like what all is going on on the page. All right, you guys. So my next hack is about organizing. So let's say you want to move some folders and you like to do it in split screen. Go ahead and split the screen. Or if you already have your tab open, just go ahead and open it. So then let's say I want to move one of these over here. So what I can do is just take it and boop, drop it on over. If you have a lot of organizing to do, this is very easy and very efficient and quick. 
I mean, you could also go here and push move and then kind of select where you want to move things. But this is just faster. And if you're more of a visual learner, this is a cute little hack. So next, I am going to show you how to get your PowerPoints to look like this instead of having them look like this and having like a continuous scroll with these big pages. So what you do is you go to file, print, and then you can change the layout. So we're gonna have six pages and then we're gonna change the layout to like this. This way you have all of the pages and you have space to write right here. And then you go on PDF, save as PDF, and then you airdrop it over to your iPad and it'll look like this. And this is so much easier to write on and you can have all of your notes compact and you can really study this a lot better. All right, so my next hack is for the creatives that like to make their PowerPoints look pretty. So what you do is you go to the color and then you go to custom. And then you can add a hex code, whatever you want. I don't know one, so I'm just gonna set this. And you write something in here and add it to presets. Once you do that, it'll be in this little selection box. And you can always use this to write or to highlight. You can also do the same thing right here. This is a great way to set up your own custom color palette and have certain colors that you use for certain classes and certain notes if you'd like. All right, so this next one is for my night owls. I usually use dark mode and I did use it at the beginning of the video. However, there was a glare, so I turned it into light mode. So let's say you like to have your notes on dark paper because you like working at night. So what you do is you go to change template. You click right here and then you can change the color to dark, all, yellow or white. So I'm going to go with dark. I really love squared paper, so I'm gonna choose that. So now you can see that it changed the color to a dark color. So you can definitely choose a light color and just write whatever you want. That was the highlighter. So, you know, just write whatever you want. And you can see that I do have some black text and it's kind of difficult to read. So the last hack is that you can choose the lasso tool right here. If you want to change your paper colors, and you select everything that you wanna change. So I just wanna change all of these colors. I push on it and then I push color and then I can select white. And now it's really easy to read my handwriting on this darker color. But let's say we want to switch it back, change template. Let's push white, the squared paper like I like. And now you can't see any of the text anymore. So we're just gonna go ahead and do the same thing. Select it all and then push color and push black. So this way you can easily change your notes from a light to dark or dark to light, depending on what your preference is in your paper. You can just change it to the lighter background with the dark writing and that way you can print it out without wasting a lot of ink. So those were all of my GoodNotes hacks and now I will be back for the outro. Thank you guys so much for watching. I really, really hope that it helped you with some hacks, whether you are a beginner or more advanced. And definitely, if you have any suggestions, any questions, let me know down below because I can make an entire video on it or I can respond and help you out. So make sure to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more videos like this, and I'll catch you next time. Bye.